welcome back to my channel and if you are new here my name is Christina and this is my channel I tend to wing it and um, just hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already uh, this video is going to be an inspired look that I um, got off of the video habits by Tavlo and I hope I'm pronouncing her name right uh, basically it's just a grungy dirty look and um, if you haven't heard the song or seen the video I will link it down below as well as the uh, inspiration photo that I took um, I know I don't look like her I um, just got some inspiration I really love the look it's kind of like a grungy uh, out partying all night type of look and I really liked it so I said mm, well let me try it out so this is the look here and I mostly used the Naked 3 palette, which I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't touched this in about 8 or 9 months. I think I bought it and then I used it for like 2 weeks straight and then I moved on to another palette. But now with a little bit more time on my hands, I'm going to be digging into these palettes and doing more tutorials. So, back to this. If you want to see how I did this look, just stay tuned and I will also see you in my next video. Bye! Okay, the first thing that I did as usual is I primed my eyelids and I used the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and I just covered the entire lid all the way up to my brow bone. And I'm going to be using mostly the Urban Decay uh, Naked 3 palette and then just one color from the Lorac uh, One Pro 1 palette, the first one. So first things first is I am going to take my favorite fluffy brush from Coastal Scents and I'm going to go in with Mugshot which um, to me is just like a mushroom taupey color and that's just going to go right into my crease and I'm going to use some windshield wiper motions. Next, I'm going to go in with a little fluffier pencil brush and uh, back into Mugshot and I'm going to run that along my bottom lash line. Now with a small uh, shadow, uh, shadow brush, I'm going to go in with Strange and that's just going to go on to my eyelid and I'm going to kind of dab that right above my crease because I have hooded lids so I want this uh, color to show a little more so that's a good trick if you have hooded lids and you want your lid to appear bigger you can just bring it slightly above the crease I'm going to go in with another fluffy brush and with this brush it's just a little bit more dense than the other one that I used and this is the one that came with the uh, Naked 3 palette. I'm just using the fluffier side and I'm going in with Dark Side which is a darker version of Mug Shot and I'm just going to dab it into the shadow and just keep it right on the tip of the brush and I am going to pat that into the crease just right here in the corner and keeping it tight because I want to keep that focus of this color right here to give it some definition. Then I'm going to go back in with the fluffy brush that I used for the crease color and I'm going to clean that off and I'm just going to buff out dark side just a tad. Now for my brow bone I'm going to use this big old fluffy brush here and I'm going to go back in with Strange and that's going to be my brow bone highlight. Now for the inner corner, um, in the video from what I could see, it was a very shimmery, uh, pinkish toned color. And I don't have that in the Naked 3 palette. So what I did was I found Nude, which is in the Lorac 1 Pro palette. It is right here and it is just a shimmery cool toned pink and I'm going to use a very small paddle brush for that 
and I'm just gonna load it up because in her video it looked like she had quite a bit on the inner corner and that's going to be the tear duct area. Alright, this part is a little tricky and so I zoomed in just so that way you can uh, see it a little bit better. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to do some liner but it's going to be smudgy and messy. And so I'm going to take this angled brush and this one is from icing and it's just the highlight liner brush and just ang any angled brush. And I'm going to take my liquid eye black liner from Milani and I'm going to run the tip of the brush just slightly over the liner until I get some on the tip and I'm going to run that along the lash line about halfway in and then take the remainder of the product and run that along the bottom lash line and then ever so slightly I'm just going to pull it down a little bit and what I'm trying to obtain here is just like a smudgy messy 90s grunge type look so the messier the better I'm going to clean the brush off and go back over the liner on the top lash line and pull that out a little bit too and then slightly bring it in a little bit more because I want most of the product to be here and then I want it to slightly fade as I go in. Now I'm going to take the same brush, I'm going to dip that into Mugshot and I'm going to smudge that over the liner. And that's just going to help smoke that out some more. and pull it up a little bit and I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom lash line now I want to brighten this up a little bit and I'm going to do that by taking the mm, Rimmel Scandalize waterproof liner and this one is in nude and I'm just going to run that on my waterline and see how that brightens it up just by this one simple step so with the mascara I'm going to use the Urban Decay version I don't like this mascara because I find it to be very watery, very runny, and very messy. And that's perfect for this look because in the video it does look like her uh, mascara is just sloppily put on after a night of partying, drinking, and doing all kinds of drugs and such. Not that I recommend that anyone do that, but this liner or this mascara works perfect for that. So I'm just going to kind of just sloppily, messily, carelessly put this mascara on and if it gets on my lid, eh, that's even better. So I'm just going to put several coats on. I'm going to do the bottom heavily, put that on and then what I did to make it look a little bit chunky was I took it this way and then just combed it down. And then you want to make sure you get in the corners here and on the outside. I always tend to miss those areas for some reason. Alright, so for the blush and before I get into that, I did my foundation beforehand 
And what I did was I took my Lorac Perfection uh, foundation and I used PR2 and I mixed that with the strobe liquid lotion from MAC, mixed that together, use my Real Techniques uh, Perfection sponge or whatever it's called and dab that on. I didn't use any face powder because I was trying to keep the dewy effect um, or youthful glowiness effect uh, going so I didn't powder my face and then um, I did my eyebrows her eyebrows are very natural in the video I don't have any eyebrows so I kind of just did them a little bit lighter than I normally do and I used the dip brow uh, pomade and chocolate I just used the lighter hand so if it looks very light to you that's why because this stuff's usually dark all right as for blush it doesn't really look like she has much blush going on just kind of a flush so I'm gonna try this uh, Tarte blush in a more it has a light shimmer to it and I'm going to use a very light hand because I don't want it obvious that I'm wearing blush I just want the uh, flush effect. I'm going to dab that in and tap that off and I'm just going to slightly just brush that onto the apples of my cheeks. As for the lips, um, it looked like she just had some uh, shimmery pink lipstick slash lip gloss. Not very much on. And the closest thing that I could find in my collection was this Diamond Sparkle Lipstick from NYX. It's a very old lipstick and it is in Rouge. And it's just a pink with some glitters in it. And I did moisturize my lips beforehand. And I'm going to top that with a lip gloss and I'm using the NYX Glam Lip Gloss and this one is in um, High Society. And it's just a pink, pale pink lip gloss that has glitter in it. You know, it's just a very shimmery pink. And in fact, this lip gloss probably would have worked by itself, but whatever. Alright, so that completes the look. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and then make sure you subscribe down below for more interesting videos coming uh, your way shortly. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!